Hello, my name is Anthony Bazirio, and I'm a technical services engineer here at Nordson EFD. In this video, we'll go over the hardware for our Ultimus Plus series dispensers. All Ultimus Plus series dispensers have a touchscreen display that you can use with your bare hands, a stylus, or gloves. In the rear of the unit, we have the following features. The USB port on the rear of the dispenser is used to either import or export programs or export the dispense log externally. You can also connect a mouse to the USB port if you do not wish to use the touchscreen. You can connect a foot pedal or optional finger switch to initiate your dispense cycle. This is the main power for the dispenser. The Ultimus Plus comes with a 24 volt, 3.75 amp power supply which automatically adjusts for 100 to 240 volts AC. We recommend you only use the supplied power pack for the Ultimus Plus to meet warranty conditions. This is a six millimeter air input connection from your plant air. Clean, dry, filtered factory air is required to meet the warranty conditions on the dispenser. If you do not have a filter on your factory air, we can supply a five micron filter for purchase. This is a six millimeter air output connection to regulate air pressure to your syringe barrel. There is another air output port on the front of the Ultimus Plus as well. This is a pneumatic port for an optional exhaust connection. If needed, you can connect a filter muffler to filter the output air to meet federal guidelines. This is the ground wire connection. This is a 15 pin IO connector to interface with external control circuits. This will be used for your NX protocol, FTP, and web interface, which will be explained in the second half of the presentation. In this section, we'll go over the software and demonstrate the Ultimus Plus settings and how to adjust them. To adjust the dispense time, press the time section on the touchscreen. Enter a time value and wait a second for the Ultimus Plus to accept it. Then hit the back arrow to return to the home screen. The Ultimus Plus 1 ranges from 10 to 100 PSI, and the Ultimus Plus 2 ranges from 0 to 15 PSI. To change the pressure, press the pressure section on the touchscreen. Enter a pressure value and wait for the Ultimus Plus to accept it. Then hit the back arrow to return to the home screen. PSI can be changed to bar on your dispenser if preferred. When dispensing low viscosity fluids, you will need to use the vacuum setting on the Ultimus Plus. Low viscosity fluids necessitate that you use a pullback force which keeps the fluid in the syringe. Vacuum feature offers just that, and in its absence, you will experience dribbling of the fluid through the dispensing tip. Vacuum ranges from zero to 18 inches of water. To change the vacuum, touch the vacuum section on the touchscreen. Enter a vacuum value and wait a second for the Ultimus Plus to accept it. Then hit the back arrow to return to the home screen. We recommend you start the vacuum at zero inches of water and slowly increase until you reach the desired setting. This will let you know how many dispense cycles have been performed with your Ultimus Plus. The Ultimus Plus has a multi-shot functionality that allows you to perform multiple dispenses with one cycle initiation. To change multi-shot settings, press the multi-shot section on the touchscreen. Press the count section. This is the number of shots in the dispense cycle. Enter a value for count and wait for the unit to accept it. Press the back arrow and then press the pause time section. Here, we will set the amount of time in seconds between each dispense. Enter a value for pause time and wait for the unit to accept it. Once you've entered your settings, press the back arrow twice to return to the home screen. Then press the multi-shot switch to enable multi-shot. If you wish, you can set a run limit for your dispenser. This is the number of times that the dispenser can run before you need to manually reset it with the reset count function. In multi-shot mode, each individual dispense counts towards the run limit. To set a run limit, press the run limit section on the touchscreen. Enter a run limit value and wait for the unit to accept it. Then press the back arrow to return to the home screen. To reset the run limit, simply press the reset count button. By pressing the steady mode switch, you will change your Ultimus Plus from timed mode to steady mode. When the switch is off, you will be in timed mode and your Ultimus Plus will dispense for the indicated amount of time. When the switch is on, you will be in steady mode and the Ultimus Plus will dispense while it receives the signal to do so, whether that's from a foot pedal, a switch, 
or from an external control. Sleep mode is only available on the Ultimus Plus One and can only be enabled when the fluid pressure is above 15 PSI. It allows the end user to reduce power and air consumption if the dispenser hasn't been running for a long period of time. To enable sleep mode, move the sleep mode switch to on. To change sleep mode settings, press the settings button and then press sleep mode. You can set your sleep mode timer for 5, 10, or 60 minutes. The lock functionality will lock out the Ultimus Plus to prevent any unwanted changes to your settings. To lock the dispenser, press the lock button. The default password to lock the dispenser is 1111. Once you enter the password, the system automatically returns to the home screen with all options grayed out. To unlock the system, press the unlock button and enter the four digit password. Again, the default password is 1111. To change the lock password, press the settings button and then press password. Enter the current password for your system. It will then ask you for a new password. Enter it twice to save. Both the Ultimus Plus 1 and 2 capture up to 100,000 log entries, including timestamps. To export the log, insert a USB drive into the USB port on the back of the Ultimus Plus. Press the log button to bring up the dispense log screen. To delete the logs from the dispenser, press export and delete log. To continue saving logs, press export and keep log. The log files are exported as CSV files and can be opened in Notepad, Microsoft Excel, or other compatible programs. When the log is nearly full, the system will give you a memory low warning. When log capacity is reached, the system will give you a memory full warning and will no longer be able to record further log entries without deleting the existing ones. You can use Teach Mode to teach the Ultimus Plus a time setting for a desired deposit size. To teach the dispenser, ensure that your tip is purged, your dispenser is in steady mode, and you have a foot pedal or switch plugged into the back of the Ultimus Plus. Press the Teach button on the home screen. Press the foot pedal or switch, then release when you reach your desired dot size. If you need to further fine tune the setting, you can use the up and down arrows to adjust the dispense time. Once you reach your desired dot size, press the home button to save the setting. Both the Ultimus Plus 1 and 2 have storage for 16 dispense programs for quick dispense changes between parts. You can choose programs by pressing the programs button. Scroll up and down to select your desired program and then press the program number to activate it. You can edit the currently active program by simply changing the desired settings. The Ultimus Plus will save any changes to the program. The setting options are all available by pressing the settings button. We went over a couple of these options when we discussed sleep mode and lock functionality, but there are many other settings available on this screen. Language, units of measure, system date and time, and dispenser IP address, which is used for the TCP IP functionality on both Ultimus Plus Series dispensers and Ultimus Plus NX. On behalf of Nordson EFD, I'd like to thank you for your time, and as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We're here to help.